Hello guys, Omni here. We got the first official trailer for DC Stargirl. Now this is an interesting arrangement and it's getting some people a little confused and it's not that hard to understand. This show is produced by DC Universe. They've got a 13 episode order. If you have the DC Universe service already, you will get this episode first, foremost, exclusively first rights to watch this show before anybody else. After the fact, it will only air on the CW. Not that it matters to me because I'm a fan of the CW. I'm a fan of anything DC. That being said, I know there's a lot of people out there that is bothered by, by the structure of how CW handles their shows, the production value, the budgeting for that, given it's broadcast television. This is all being funded, financed, and produced by the team at DC Universe. If that's something you are worried about, please be alleviated by that and just shut up. That's it. I just want to enjoy my DC stuff and I go on and everybody's just complaining about such irrelevant stuff. Sorry, this turned into a little bit of a tangent, but I see it almost every day on my media feed. Anyway, that being said, I don't really know a whole lot about Stargirl except for the minor appearance they had in one of the seasons of Legend Tomorrow. Uh, they were, have some kind of tie to the JSA, the Justice Society of America. That's about it. I know this, there's different iterations, so I'm curious to see where they're going to go with this one. So let's go ahead and dive into the trailer and find out. Here we go. Starman, are you there? Starman! Was that Luke Wilson? Holy crap. That's Luke Wilson. Someone with honor must carry the torch. I know this has been difficult the move and a new stepfather, but we're going to make a good life. Hey, sorry, that's just real delicate. Okay. It's the cosmic staff. It's extremely temperamental. And those effects are pretty decent. The staff's not supposed to work for anyone except Starman. This has to be the reason <laughs> the staff lit up. Chose me, and I choose you. I never thought there'd be another star man. I mean, it's got some of that cheese you would expect with this, but I think that just is fitting to this character. So I'm not gonna fuss about it. It looks pretty decent. I like the way the production looks. Uh, the effects definitely do not have that CW ness that I know a lot of people talk about or complain about rather, but it. It just the way it's shot, the way the camera is, the camera quality at least is kind of airing on something that doesn't seem to be produced by CW by my eyes. But again, I will reiterate, I don't care. I just like DC. If they do it good, they do it good. And that's it. I've been covering Crisis on Infinite Earths. They were talking about there's rumors that she was going to make her debut in the event, but this is a DCU show. They just have a deal with CW for airing it to the public. Everybody else, if you have the DC app, you can watch it first. There you go. DCU, shut up, watch your show, and just be a DC fan. Enjoy it. Don't harass anybody else for their preference or what they enjoy because you don't. I'm sorry, this is getting like preachy and I'm, I'm just so tired of all of this BS on Twitter and everything, just like constantly ragging on these other DC properties. It's just it. I'm sorry. That's it. I think it looks decent. I think we need a little bit more of a view of what the show is going to be. This being called an official trailer leaves me wanting because it, it's just, it, it's not really a trailer. It's a teaser. I know they released an earlier teaser this week, but that was even less than this. I want to see more of this. I want to get a better sense of what this is going to be about. I know it's kind of just kind of showing us the character, where this kind of comes from, but it doesn't really give us any kind of sense of where it's going to go. Because, I mean, if you go off the trailer, she just gets this magic staff and just starts fighting some guys. As far as the quality of it, from the little bit we saw, it looks promising, and I'm going to give it a try, as I do with all of the DC shows. That 
is going to be it for this video because I don't really have anything else to add except that it's really cool to see Luke Wilson in this, uh, getting wrapped up into the DC world as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to pass it off to you guys. Sound off in the comments. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. If you like the video, be sure to support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'd really love to get some new voices down in the comments, get some new perspectives. And just remember, we're all DC fans here. And if it's if one thing's not for you, it doesn't mean it's not good for somebody else. So just celebrate that we are all having such a good time with our love, our passion for these characters, this world, this multiverse. And there's a character and a version of that character out there for everybody. That's it. That's all I got for today. That's my little love message to the world of DC for everybody. That's, uh, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.